Welcome to Tractor DJ. In this series of videos, we'll show you how to get started with Tractor DJ. The performing tutorial will show you how to deal with tempos, handle loops and master effects, EQs and filters. Further, you'll learn how to freeze and slice up your tracks to truly perform. The first thing you'll notice about Tractor DJ is a very clean interface and big beautiful waveforms. This is because a lot of the interaction in the app happens directly on the waveform itself. As you can see, you can easily scrub a track just by touching it with your finger. Once you let go of the waveform, Tractor Pro users will notice the flux mode behavior. This means the track always jumps back in time. One of the amazing new features we've introduced in Tractor DJ is freeze mode. Enable it with the snowflake button. The waveform will be chopped up into single beats and stops moving, although you can still hear the audio play. This opens up a whole new layer of interaction. Dive directly into the beat and perform it yourself. To leave freeze mode, just tap the freeze mode button again. Another indispensable tractor feature is its powerful loop functionality. In Tractor DJ, you just need to touch the area you'd like to loop with two fingers. Pick this loop up by holding it with two fingers and then move it around. Or try to change its size by holding the loop and pinching it in or out. And of course you can combine a loop with the freeze function. So if you enable freeze now, you can play the single slices of the loop by tapping and holding them. If you want to leave the loop slicer, tap the freeze button. To turn off the loop, just tap the waveform with two fingers. Let's load up a second track into deck B and set a loop at the beginning to prepare your first mix. All you need to do now is press play. The sync engine is incredibly powerful and takes care of matching the tracks perfectly. So here we are already in the mix. You can even slice these loops up again and do another little performance bit right here. It's really a lot of fun, but I'm going to mix out of this track now using the road tested Tractor Pro effects. To open the effects, just tap the FX buttons that you can see on deck A and deck B. An XY panel will slide open from the left. Tap them to select the shown effect. When you hold the effect block and drag it down, you can choose from even more effects. Let's go for the beat masher here. What we've done is to import some of the most loved Tractor effects from our Tractor Pro software and brought them to this simple multi-touch XY interface. Let's choose the delay now and have a quick play with it. Then stop deck A. Now we're mixing out with the delay and get this track going. On top of that, we also have the EQ panel, which is also on each deck. The panel slides in from the right and equips you with a three-band EQ. This means we have controls over the lows, the mids, and the highs. Tap the center to reset. Lastly, we have a volume slider with multi-touch, like all the other sliders and XY pads. We also have two blocks in the EQ panel where you can find a filter. It's the same well-known and loved low and high-pass filter that you might know from Tractor Pro. We've actually taken the exact same filter that is built into our world-class Z2 mixer. So let's try this one out. And you can also lock that in place with the lock button. What's really cool though is to combine the effects straight with the filter. It's really easy and a lot of fun. Welcome to Tractor DJ. In this series of videos, we'll show you how to get started with Tractor DJ. This video is supposed to help people who've never mixed before by just mentioning some facts that are essential when trying to blend two songs together. As an experienced DJ, it's possible to mix almost any track of any genre into another one. However, when you're just getting started mixing, some simple and maybe even obvious rules should be pointed out. Most DJs stick with certain genres that work well together or build up their sets and transition between genres over a longer period of time. Of course you can try to mix polka music with southern rap tunes, but the initial result might not be what you expected. So when you get started, try to blend tracks that are within the same genre. 
This makes your life easier and will lead to immediate satisfaction. Once you've got comfortable mixing tracks of the same genre, you can look ahead and be more experimental. So let me demonstrate how well two tracks of the same genre can go together. At this point, we don't care about levels or EQing. We just want to rely on Tractor DJ's recommendation engine, which propose these tracks to us and take advantage of the sync engine in Tractor DJ. We also listen closely to the beat and only try to see if the two songs can be beat matched. Since we're not touching any faders, I'll just make sure that the crossfader is in the middle position. This means I can hear both tracks at their full volume once I start to play them. Let's jump to a part of track 1 where a little bit less is going on. We can immediately start the second track at this point. Tractor DJ took care of the right timing. Now we just need to slowly bring out track A. Let's use EQ for that. When you have two tracks playing at once, their volumes add up to each other. You're likely to have the double amount of volume, which can result in a bad and clashing sound. The EQ allows you to take certain frequencies away, to blend two tracks well together, and rather than canceling each other's sound, complementing it. Now you can see these two tracks are blending well. This is not only because they belong to the same genre and run almost at the same tempo. Additionally, their rhythms work well with each other, and their musical key also matches up. Matching musical keys have a similar tonal melody, which means tracks will blend better together. When doing long blends like this, these are the factors that are crucial to a good long mix. Tractor DJ tries the best to support your decisions on which songs to match with each other, but beware. Sometimes even tracks with the same tempo and the same musical key can have completely different rhythmical structures, which make it almost impossible to match them up in a long transition. If you want to mix tracks which are harder to blend since some of the factors mentioned before are not fitting that nicely, you need to think of ways on how to achieve this differently. For example, by using a long, drum-free atmospheric part of a song to mix in a new track at a new tempo with a different rhythm on top. Another way would be to time the drop, that is the moment in which a song really takes off, exactly with the break of the song you want to mix out of. The track in deck A just hit such a break and is about to build up again. Since there are no low frequencies audible in deck A anyways, I'll precautionally use a high pass filter to filter out the low frequencies completely. This way I can keep the track running and won't have to worry about clashing frequencies later. One last trick I'd like to share with you is to use an effect to create a big wall of sound yourself in which you can mix in almost anything. I'll just play this track in deck A and use my delay effect to create a nice long delay tail. When I stop deck A now, you can still hear the delay fading out. And I just hit play for deck B in time my transition has been done. So now have fun mixing yourself and keep these simple rules in mind. Ask yourself, do tempo and rhythmical structure of my tracks work with each other? When blending two tracks with melodies, will they sound good and be in key, or will they make your ears bleed? Are these genres working together in a long blend, or should I try to approach the mixing of these with another method? <laughs>